Hi, the Frosting Guy here from www.caninecakery.com bringing you today the chocolatey peanut butter cake for dogs. Visit us at www.k, the letter K, the number 9, C-A-K-E-R-Y dot com. We're doing these cake videos for the website dogcakeworld.com where you can find videos on how to make all sorts of different flavored cakes for your dogs and even share your own recipes with our community. Now, who hasn't had a peanut butter cup with that great taste of chocolate and peanut butter together? It's probably one of the most popular desserts out there and a great treat. That's what we're going to do in a cake style for your dog today. But you need to know your dog, or any dog, should not have chocolate. That's because chocolate contains theobromines, which are chemicals that can actually cause a dog's heart to race, even though it doesn't affect people. So instead of using chocolate, we use carob. Now carob is a natural powder. It tastes just like chocolate. It's grown similar to chocolate, but it doesn't have any of the chemicals that can be harmful to a dog. So that's why we use carob powder instead of chocolate when we're baking for dogs. We also are going to be using, instead of peanut butter like you would find on the shelf in the grocery store, we're going to use a peanut butter powder. Now why? Well, the peanut butter powder that's sold by caninecakery.com is designed specifically for dogs. It's partially defatted. Well, what does that mean? Well, if you pick up a jar of peanut butter in the grocery store and you read the ingredients, you're going to find sugar, fats, additives, all sorts of things that are not peanuts. Well, a peanut butter powder is just that. It's powdered peanuts. It's actual peanuts, and when we say partially defatted, because peanuts are very oily, which is why we have peanut oil, we remove a lot of the oil from the peanut before we turn it into the powder so that your dog is getting an all-natural, healthy substance that's not going to have all that oil that can be bad for them. So that's why we use the ingredients that we use. So I've saved this a little bit of time, and I've taken our basic caninecakery.com cake mix. This is simply the cake mix where I've added one egg, I've added a uh, third of a cup of water and a quarter cup of oil. And again, these mixes are all natural, whole wheat flour, and they're designed to be made in the conventional oven or the microwave oven. The instructions are a little bit different depending on which oven you're going to use, so make sure you read the box carefully. We're making this for the conventional oven, so I've added the egg, the oil, and the water. Now, you want to see how simple this is? We take our carob powder, we take our peanut butter powder, we get our chocolate and peanut butter mixed together in the bowl, and there you go. We mix that up, and you can see the great combination of peanut butter and carob in there. And it smells just like a peanut butter cup in this kitchen. I wish you could smell it. And in a matter of no time at all, we've got a perfect batter for a chocolate peanut butter cake mix for dogs. Now let's go ahead and take this and grab a spoon. Spoon it into our mold. And there you have it. Now you want to get extra special with this. Once you've cooked this and it's come out of the oven all nice and hot, you can either put frosting on it, or if you want to go a little bit different of a way, just take some more of your carob powder and sprinkle it on almost as if you would do powdered sugar, and it gives it that extra little bite and that extra little special something. So, for dogcakeworld.com and caninecakery.com, I'm the Frosting Guy. You're going to find me back doing many more videos on many more cakes and many more options. All the supplies you need are found at caninecakery.com, the world's largest dog bakery supply site on the internet, and period. So visit us there, and we'll see you soon. Bye.